Once you get your hands on a camcorder, you'll need to install its software and codecs so that the videos will play properly. Without the codecs and software specific to your camcorder, your computer may not be able to play back the audio and video of your files. Both parts are still there, it just doesn't know how to read them. So if you move your files from your camcorder to your computer, and you do not have both audio and video, then you have a little installing to do. To begin, connect your camcorder to your computer. Sometimes, the camcorder will automatically install. But most likely, a dialog box will appear with several options from which to choose. Typically, an option will appear that uses the camcorder's software to view the files. Select the option that fits your camcorder, which in this case is right here. Installing this software, its plugins, and codecs gives your computer the user's manual to the new files so that it can understand them. This is why it's important to make sure everything is installed and playing nicely together. If not, the newly added files feel like they just woke up with a headache in Tijuana and can't find their wallets. No es bueno. Even though we are installing the software and editing programs that come with our camcorders, we will not be using them to sort or edit our files. That's what Windows Movie Maker is for. We just want the codecs, and installing the programs is the easiest way to get them. Furthermore, if you don't install your camcorder software, you will most likely be prompted to install it every single time you plug your camcorder into your PC, which is incredibly annoying. So while we won't be using the software for much, it's a good idea to go ahead and just get its installation out of the way. Another benefit to the installation is that every time you connect your camcorder to your PC, the camcorder software checks for updates to your camcorder's firmware. These updates change the guts of the camcorder and can fix bugs to help capture better footage, so they are definitely good to have. Once the software has finished installing on your computer, you may be prompted to upgrade the firmware and or software on your camcorder. If that's the case, go ahead and upgrade. However, it's important to note that if you were not prompted to upgrade the camcorder, that just means that you are up to date and good to go. Now that everything is complete, let's open the video we attempted to play earlier to confirm that the codecs are correctly installed. And there we have it. Successful installation. Not only do we have audio, but thanks to our newly installed codecs, we have video as well. After installing new codecs and software, it's always a good idea to restart your computer. So give your machine a reboot, and next we'll set our sights on getting the best Windows Movie Maker installed on your specific operating system. Windows XP, Vista, or 7.